hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video ios 18.1 public beta 2 is out for almost 24 hours and i'm using it since and in today's video i'm going to talk about how the last 24 hours went how the battery goes what is the geekbench score and also i'm going to address some of the changes that are available with the ios 18.1 public beta 2 so let's begin this video and let's talk about each and everything starting with the very first thing that is going to be Geekbench score so it means that is going to be the performance so talking about the performance let me go to the Geekbench application over here these are the score of ios 18.1 public beta 2 2324 on a single core while 5476 on a multi-core if i compare with the average one the in the um, average uh, single core scores the scores of 18.1 public beta 2 are better in the multi core the scores of 18.1 public beta 2 are slightly up just three point up but i'm quite disappointed with the multi core score over here because it is not that good if i go and show the other multi core scores over here for example this one or this one or maybe this one these scores are very higher than the this one so i'm quite disappointed with the 18.1 public beta 2 score i don't know why these scores are this much low but they are low but i'm hoping they can get better because i was always take a couple of days to get a stable so figures cross i'm hoping these scores will get better in a couple of days so in the terms of geekbench score i'm quite disappointed i'm not happy with what it is but it is what it is and i'm hoping it will get better although geekbench only gives us idea about the performance in the usage i don't have any issue at all i'm using it since it is out i am running different applications trying out watching youtube and doing instagram whatever but in usage i don't face any sort of problem but yes in terms of multi-core score i'm a bit disappointed now let's talk about the battery life so going into the settings over here let the battery stats load as it is takes time and over here as you can see i didn't use my phone much today because i'm also testing ios 17.7 the video of ios 17.7 will also come very very soon i am testing that on my other device but as you can see i used almost 50 percent or maybe 45 40 percent of my device and screen on time is quite low because i didn't use it much but using 40 percent or 45 percent almost three hours of screen on time is quite decent i used instagram for a bit then me fitness app was running in the background because i was on a walk then telegram for a bit a whatsapp was also because of calls etc and i was updating uh, all my applications checking your comments looking trying to understand the new photos application being very honest with you guys and some other things but i can say it's a decent screen on time after using it for a 50 percent many people are saying they are not getting good uh, screen on time battery is draining a lot on 18.0 i was hoping to see 18.0.1 but that is not out yet while i'm shooting this video but i'm still hoping that might come today or tomorrow so fingers crossed for that and that is going to fix issues if you ask me that should you guys update to the 18.1 public beta 2 i don't think so because i will not recommend you to update to the beta version i will suggest you stay on the 18.0 and wait for the 18.0.1 and i think it is better to update to 18.11 it once it will come out in um october as a final version that will be a much better time to update to this one talking about the changes for the people who don't know what 18.1 is offering because many people are asking that they don't have 15 pro or 15 pro max or iphone 16 because 18.1 is about apple intelligence so apple intelligence is not coming to older iphones so what is 18.1 offering to the older iphones well there are a lot of changes starting with the very first thing is the call recording call recording is available for every other iphone that supports um, 18.1 i did a call recording demo in one of my videos you can go and check out my channel for that also there are more changes for example if you go to the control center over here now these connectivity tools controls are available separately so if i tap and hold add a control over here go into the connectivity section over here as you can see 
Wi-Fi VPN, personal hotspot, cellular data, every other thing is available. You can change their size. You can make them however you want to. It gets to the other page. You can add a separate page for them. Whatever you can do this, these are quite handy and they are available with this update. Also, when you go to the settings and go to the control center over here, there is a new reset control center. This is going to be a very useful. Many people, you know, messing up with their control center and they are not able to go to the default one because it is, it takes a lot of time to manage everything. But by tapping on this for a one time, you can go reset your control center completely, which is also going to be very useful. Also for the iPhone 16 users, there is in the camera controls, now there is a selfie option available. You guys know that there are camera controls over here of the iPhone 16 and 16 Pro models. Now a selfie option is also available in those camera controls. I cannot show you Apple Intelligence, however, the dark mode of Apple Intelligence icon and Siri is also available with this update. Also, when you go to the accessibility over here, the color of the this icon of face ID and attention is changed now. Also, the there is slight difference in the color of eye tracking and this looks really good. Also, when you go back and go to the display and brightness, now in the demonstration of light mode and dark mode, the iOS 18 wallpapers are updated which looks quite decent and relatable so these are few changes with the 18.1 that are going to um that are coming to every other iphone other than the apple intelligence although i think apple intelligence should come but apple claims that for the apple intelligence they need a bigger ram at least 8 gigs of ram that is only available with the 15 pro models um and the newer iphones so that is one of the main reasons that, that why Apple and Nintendo are is not coming. I do believe that Apple should at least update the animation of the Siri for the older iPhones, but we have to live with the um, old Siri even in the not so old iPhone. But these are few changes that are available with the 18.1. So in this video, I talk about the battery life, performance, what is new, should you update. I try to cover most of the things and yeah that's it from this video i hope you like this video if you did give this video a big thumbs up do like and share this video subscribe to my channel and one thing again i also talk about that in my previous video that many people are now subscribing to the channel the subscription rate is quite very low it is under five percent that makes no sense because i'm trying to bring um useful videos for you that can enhance your performance of using ios so make sure to subscribe if you're coming to the channel hit the like button uh, hit the share button subscribe and yeah that's it from this video i hope you like this video if you did give this video a big thumbs up if you're facing any sort of issue problem whatsoever you can drop your comment in the comment section below and i'm here to answer your queries well see you in the next video until then take care peace out